This tutorial shows the step-by-step -step instructions for this lesson in the Omega Learning Guide. At the end of this lesson, your job should look something like this. To begin, you will need to open the file you saved at the end of the previous lesson. Click Select All. Click Shape Absolute Move to open the Absolute Move dialog box. Click the bottom left handle in the Move This Handle box. In the Move type, turn on Absolute. In New Location, enter 0 in X and 0 in Y. Click OK to return to Composer. Click Zoom to All. The bottom left corner of the word Cox is now at the 00, zero location. Click the Detail Edit Delete tool. On the property bar, turn on Retain Closed Shape. Click the extra points on the wide portions of the X to remove them. Click Layout Angled Guidelines to open the Set Angled Guideline dialog box. Enter 8 in X and 0 in Y. Enter negative 128 in the Angle box and click OK. Drag the guideline into position above the distorted portion of the X. Make another guideline using the same values and position it under the distorted portion of the X. Click the Line tool in the Toolbox toolbar. Click Layout, Snap to Guidelines, and ensure that this option is checked. Click the bottom of the X in the uppermost guideline to create a point. Click and drag the Line tool so it snaps to the guideline. Click at the top of the X to create another point and anchor the line. Right-click and select End Shape Open. With the Selection tool, select the line you just created. Right-click with your mouse and select Copy. Right-click the second guideline and select Paste Here. Use the Selection tool to move it into position. Now, select only the word Cox and not the two lines you just created. Select the Delete tool. Turn on Allow Single Segment Delete and turn off Retain Closed Shape. Delete the top portions of the X. Delete the remaining line segments one by one to achieve open points under the lines you just created. Click Select All. Click the Detail Edit Add Point tool. Create points on the line above the points you just created by clicking and dragging the tip of the Add Points tool across the line where you want the points to be added. Select the Delete tool and click on the segment between the two points you just created to delete it and leave open points. Click the Detail Edit Join Open Shapes tool. Turn on Join at Midpoint in the property bar. One at a time, click and drag around both open points in the line at the bottom of the X. The points are now connected. Now, turn on Join with line in the property bar. Click and drag around each of the end lines you created earlier. The tool will add a line to join the two points. Click the Move tool and drag the newly created points so that they align with the guideline. When you are finished, use the guidelines and the Move tool to align the other parts of the X. Click Layout Remove Guidelines. On the property bar, turn on Retain Closed Shape. Now, click and drag the uppermost line that you created on the X and make the X thicker. Click Zoom to All, then click View Filled, or press the F8 key. Select both the inner and outer portions of the O and click Arrange Combine On. Remember to save your file when you are finished. This concludes this lesson. Be sure to check if there are any exercises or tip videos associated with this lesson before continuing. For more information on this and other topics, please consult the Omega Help file or press F1 in Composer.